All right, space attack. Um, I've been getting into like doing fidget stuff lately, which I know is completely, you know, uh, 20, what is it, when, when did fidget stuff come out? 2020, 2021? Um, but yeah, I started with, I always wanted a fidget stuff, but I always wanted to like have electronics in it and actually do something rather than just be like, like a satisfying click. So that's when I come up with the, uh, well, I didn't come up with the idea. I made the idea of doing the um, Game Boy Color uh, light up uh, fidget toy. That was uh, sort of inspired by where he's DMG one. Um, that was in the last video. And then I come up with this other one, which had, I had these um, rotary encoders that had a nice satisfying click to them. It's a similar one that you'll find on your um, Ender 3 if you've got one, or some kind of similar device. Um, and has a little click button on it. Uh, I'll show you what this one does. Basically turn it on and then it has lights up, lights up a different color of the way. And if you want to change modes, just click it in and it has like a nice sort of a rainbow mode that goes around. Click it again and then it turns into a rainbow. Basically it goes through the different uh, color RGBs as you scroll it forwards and then if you scroll it backwards it goes white and then it also scrolls backwards through the color RGBs so you can kind of like uh, set it that way. If you like kind of scroll past the color you want to set it to, you can scroll it back and then go forwards. Uh, there's another one, red and green. These are just a few examples that I've come up with. And then back to the start there. Um, it's not really that interesting to it. It's just a um, WS2812-16 uh, LED light ring uh, encoder. It's got an Arduino Uno in there. Not Arduino Uno, Arduino Pro Micro, but this one's with the USB-C. But it's also got the resistors, the 5.1K resistors. So you can use a USB-C to USB-C cable whilst programming it, which is great. Yeah, the charge board was like a little bit different. I come up with this little custom. I've been messing around with charge boards lately. This one's got USB-C. It's got the resistors. It's got a TP4056, which is like your standard um, sort of charger, lipo charger. And then it's got uh, resistors on it, so I can change the actual how quickly it charges. Because I think if you get a normal one, uh, like an off-the-shelf one, like this, it'll chuck like an amp through um, your lipo, which is not great. You can sort of where there is a setable resistor. Um, but then also I found this other tiny little uh, boost board to go with it, which is good for Arduino projects because sometimes Arduino projects don't suck enough power to use like a standard um, sort of a standard chip, um, sort of power bank chip, so that they, they'll kind of detect, I think it's fi uh, 50 milliamps. Um, normally if it's less than that, it'll just shut off after a couple of minutes. So I found this tiny little boost board, which is good. And then uh, interestingly enough, I found this schematic online, which I'll link in the blog post, but I didn't realize that it's actually like an enable pin on this. And that's what I've linked up to this switch. So you can actually switch it on and off. So it won't actually give out power all the time, which is good. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give the, uh, release the board files for this, which is quite nice. It's like two things in one that you can c combine together. Also, I've uh, made the, because I've been using sort of uh, e-cig batteries um, from dis disposable e-cigs, you know how uh, terrible they are, but I've got literally about 40 of these in a bin somewhere, um, but they don't have any protection on it and I've realised that using this with this is not a good idea because it will it'll eventually just go down below uh, a chargeable level and this won't charge it. So I come up with, it's basically the other part of these little boards you get, these two chips and these kind of uh, jelly bean parts are actually the protection. So I've uh, made a board, tiny board to take these parts, put them on a little board and then you can like strap them to the side of your LiPo. Because if you're using another LiPo, like um, you get like the uh, pouch ones, uh, they normally have like a protection in them. Or, but then if you want to use a bare cell um, sort of 18650, you can always incorporate this into it. That's why I made it kind of small. So we can kind of strap it to the side of your battery. So yeah, it's um, it, it works works really really well. Um, charges it, discharges it, does all that, and it's all a custom chip I can control. So it's just all. Um, and I ended up uh, ordering these parts separately because you can actually order them on these little boards. They are quite cheap, but I just ordered all my parts separately. So yeah, and it's got a uh, USB-C charge in one end, USB program in the other end. I actually used this in a uh, pumpkin, carved pumpkin. And then I was like, oh, we need something to go in here to light it up. And I was like, just grab this, uh, tuned it to the color you wanted it, put it on, and that was it. I've also put, um, I found like a candle um, sort of sketch to go on it and you can just flash it. It's quite it's quite a, quite a cool little device it's turned into. It's just like a, and you can try out different colors and stuff or different different um, sort of um, develop different um, 
FastLED uh, library um, code for it. This is what this uses, which is good. There's loads of different um, sort of things out there for that as well. Um, it's got little uh, TPU pads as well, so it's kind of nice on the surface. But yeah, as usual, I'll uh, put a link in the description with all the files, the 3D print files, where to get the parts from, and all that kind of jazz. So uh, as usual, thanks for watching. Bye.